Hey guys, it's Jarrett and Val, our next adventure. On um, this video, we're going to take you to Orange Beach, Alabama. Yep, and Reason. to tour a luxury RV resort called Heritage right here in the marina. Mm -hmm. And all of this during Tropical Storm Claudette. So let's do it. Right now. Hey guys, if you're new to our channel, we travel two ways, by RV or glamping, and by via Marriott Vacation Club. And so if that's something that interests you at all, or if you just want to follow along and see what our kind of adventures are, hit the like and subscribe. Yep, so thanks for clicking on our channel. We hope you find our content useful. Or at least entertaining. First, we're going to take you on a tour of the luxury RV resort, Heritage Motor Coach RV Resort in Orange Beach, Alabama. So we're going to do that first. You're welcome to fast forward through that part if um, that's something that does not interest you because next after that we're going to show you five or six things um, that are awesome to do down here in the Orange Beach area that we like and we've done and did video on. Um, and also, leaf blower guy. Pause for the leaf blower guy. Mm -hmm. Nice of him. He just happened to start as soon as we started. Also, five really good places to eat down here. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned, we're doing all that coming up right now. Okay, here we go. Off to Orange Beach, Alabama. Tropical storm warning. Should be okay. Say a prayer. We've been told from people that live down there in the motor coach uh, resort that everything should be fine, just a lot of rain. Flooding. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> We're gonna go anyways. Tropical storm? What tropical storm? Let's do this. That is one thing that we've learned about camping over the years. We've been camping at least eight years at this point and um, over the years we've learned not to book your vacations and reservations around the weather because if you try to do that you'll just never go. So book it anyway and if, if there's a storm coming or something comes up, you might have to cancel or reroute your plans. Um, 2021 right now, that's hard to do. It's hard to get reservations last minute, but uh, we were not able to do that. We did look, <laughs> um, but we decided according to everyone's advice, we're gonna go for it. But um, if you plan around the weather, you'll never go. So even if it's a weekend trip near your home base, you know, and you're just weekenders like us, or you know, only vacation a couple times a year, um, don't count on the weather, just book it and see what happens. Hey, so look at this. We wanted to show you guys. Jarrett took down my little towels um, underneath the microwave that kept it from squeaking. If you've been watching any of our videos, the Holiday Rambler um, microwave here squeaks so bad when we go down the road and we're not sure why still. We've tried to fix it several ways. We've shoved some towels up under there. But he found a new solution and he cut a pool noodle and jammed it up in there and it seems really quiet. So it's working. We're on the road. We stopped north of Birmingham for the night and we're back on the road. It is Saturday, June 19th. Happy birthday, honey. Thank you. He's a big 44 today. And so it's starting to rain, but the forecast looks so much better. We went from 100% chance of rain to 80% chance of rain. <laughs> Here it comes. According to the radar, which I'll post a picture of, looks like the next four or five hours are gonna be a lot of fun. We're north of Birmingham coming into the city. Okay, well, this is fun. I'm hopeful that that weather app is incorrect and we will see more sunshine than rain. Here's to wishful thinking. So look at that. In the four-ish hours we've been driving, the skies have cleared a little bit. The rain isn't as bad as it was, but the wind is blowing Jarrett every which way. So I think he's done. He's getting tired. And the forecast, look at this. I'm going to put a little picture here. Looks to have a little bit of um, clearing and some 
sun, you know, for a couple hours about the time that we arrive. So what do you think about that? Perfect timing, huh? Hopefully the rest of the week will look better and better and better each hour that goes by. It did get really windy today, my goodness. Wow, we get to stay here. Site number 20, look at this fire pit. We'll have to fix it all up for them. Look at our view. This is amazing. I love it. Yeah, got a grill outdoor kitchen, smoker. We're gonna get Jarrett pulled in here in a minute. And go check this place out. So pretty, I can't believe the sun came out. We were not expecting this. So he's on hook in the truck because this is a back end site. So we're gonna get her backed in. And we'll tell you guys all about it. We're seeing this place for the first time too, so beautiful. Okay, from the site, let's go check out the pool. Okay, we have the lizard. Watch out, buddy!
second floor of the owner's clubhouse, and you can see the private beach here. So over here where this motor coach is, by, behind the flag, um, that piece of beach right there is usable. We're allowed to go down there, put in our kayaks if we want to, or just sit by the water. But this piece here is under construction, so it's closed currently, but that's okay. That is okay. That's pretty. You can hardly call this place a campground. It's definitely the luxury RV resort feel that we were hoping for, for sure. Um, this is the clubhouse, which is right next to our site, Site 20. I love these little lanterns. Now this is for owners only, so we are not owners, of course, and we're not gonna be able to go use that but as you can see each site here has a little owner's little clubhouse um, that is not rentable when you rent a site here but you do get to use the outdoor kitchens and the outdoor furniture uh, but this clubhouse here looks really nice if you just check out the photos online they're way better than I could show you over here at the clubhouse just wanted to show you the laundry facility in case you were to want to book a stay here Two dollars to wash, two dollars to dry. They have three of each, little table, change machine, and you can come in here and get some ice. Plain and simple. under construction. I'm going to take you over here and show you site 61. 61. Isn't this pretty? I like this site. Maybe next time we'll come we'll think about booking this one if it's available because in the morning this is where the sun rises. Isn't this pretty? So here's 60 I believe or is this 19? Shoot I forgot again. Look how pretty that is. And then this is 61. There were lots of boats out here just a few minutes ago. Such a beautiful day. It's so comfortable. Ooh, that's a nice place, isn't it? But lots of bar seating here. TV, the grill. It's just so nice. Hi. Hey. So we're down here near 47, 48. This is 48. And see how the loop, the U kind of backs up to each other? So in the backs of these patios, they've got that lit up little pathway. In the evening, it's so pretty. And there's not much of a breeze back here toward the road get closer to the the, um, the water there definitely is a breeze so if you like a breeze pick near the water if you want something less breezy pick near the road and in the middle of the U you get that little back patio area where everybody kind of hangs out at night the little lights are on it's so pretty or then on the sides of the U you would have Again, and yes, 
if that was 19 at the end. That's where the numbers switch, apparently. Sunday morning, Father's Day, day after all those winds and heavy rain. I cannot believe how quiet and calm it is this morning. It's a little humid, but the water is so still. Did you see that fish just jump? This site here has the sunrise view, doesn't it? I'll find out what number it is. We canceled our jet ski reservations today, thinking the water would be too choppy. I may have to call them back. <laughs> it's 50% chance of rain today. I'm gonna hold the camera here for just a moment to see if we can see that fish jump again. I saw two or three already this morning jump out of that water. But, um, we canceled the jet ski reservation and booked it for Tuesday. But every, it seems that every day in the weather forecast here changes hourly. <laughs> and while we expect that at the beach, um, I honestly wasn't sure what to expect with tropical storm weather that just came through. Nemo and his friends swimming near the dock. They're going to come out of the surface. Speaking of surface, if you haven't seen the new Disney Plus movie, Luca, it is so cute. We watched it just, was it last night? The night before, Friday night? When it first came out. Adorable movie. Similar story to Nemo, but different. Oh, there was one. He didn't quite make it out over the top of the water. Now if these fish, oh, I can't give away the movie. Let's just say if these fish change form when they, <laughs> when they jump. I'm headed back to the camper. Sometimes it's good to just take a moment, isn't it? Just enjoy the view, take it all in. There he goes. Well, that's the best we got for this morning. I was told that just two days ago there or a ton of boats down here. And I can see why, so apparently they come down and move them when they know a storm's coming. Which is obviously a smart move. Look at him. Just creeping. You think he'll catch something? While I'm standing here? Protected by the fence. <laughs> protected from the wildlife. Except for the lizards. They could attack at any moment. I'm going to run out of storage on my phone before this bird catches a fish. I think he's just taking his morning walk. He's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. So I'm gonna let this guy be and get his lunch and go back to the camper and fix
fix my breakfast. See what else we can get into around here today. Orange Beach, Alabama. Father's Day. June 19th. Nope. June 20th. 2021. Thankful for the day, the sun, the warm air. God is good. Good morning. Good morning. We're down here at Bear Point Marina. The, Oso, the Oso Restaurant. Near the Oso Restaurant, we're going to do a little two hour fishing catch and release excursion. For the girls. Inshore. Nothing major, but it should be a good time. We haven't had but a half a cup of coffee. Did you even have any coffee? I drank a whole cup. And we don't know if we're going to get rained on. 50% chance. Who knows? We thought we'd try it. But we're waiting on our guide. And we'll show you a little, few pictures of the marina. Yeah. It's pretty neat here. So. See if we can have some fun with the girls. Teenagers just got out of bed at 6 a.m. on vacation. Them. I don't think they're real happy right now. Here comes our ride. So Captain Ty, what kind of bait are we using? <laughs> We're going to be using uh, squid and shrimp. Squid and shrimp, that sounds fun. This line is as close as it can be to this rod. So go ahead and reel it a little bit. See how it's right next to it? Now you can grab that line with this finger. Go ahead. All right, go, go ahead and hold it tight. You know, have you ever shot a bow and arrow before? You know how you hold the line right there in the crease of your finger? Same thing here. All right, so what you want to do is then flip this bell up. And now you're ready to cast. Okay, so you're getting a nibble, right? So whenever you do that, you jerk the other the opposite direction. Hold on. Jerk up really fast. So show me how, show you, that's called setting the hook. Show me how you do that. Go ahead. Jerk and reel. Go ahead. said earlier anytime you grab a saltwater fish you always grab them from the belly because there's hardly anything that can ever hurt you down there. So you squeeze them by their gills and they'll stop wiggling on you. And you never pull a hook out you always push a hook out. So you push it in, you twist it up and then you push it out just like that. See there? Yeah what you gotta kiss you gotta kiss the knife. Oh, that's the oh, work. I just thought about it too. Oh my god, there he went. Oh, you didn't tell me I was touching blood. There you go. <coughs> nope, go come on, you do it. Do, use two hands. Use two hands? Use two hands. Oh my god, I can't. It's too You got him. Oh my god. Squeeze him by his gills. Just squeeze him. Go for it. Ew. Good job, Liv. Yeah.
Thank you so much, Captain Ty. It was a lot of fun. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, we had a great time. Thank you. So this is Bear Point Marina again. And what's the name of your um, rental place? Um, top Tier Water Sports. Top Tier. Yeah. That's right. Top Tier Water Sports. They were good Mark to us. Diesel. Over here by Oso. Okay, so Michael here saved our GoPro. It just fell in the water. I'm gonna show you where. Hold on, Michael. I took my jacket off. I took my jacket off. The freaking thing of the jacket grabbed the string of the GoPro and it bounced off in the deck and went in this water. Wait, I'm holding my phone so tight. That freaking water! And I was not gonna go down there and get it. They told us it was about 10 feet deep, but Michael here works next door and said it's not 10 feet deep, right? It's about six. Mm -hmm. And he freaking went in there and got it. Look, his hair's still dry. Got it's it with his dry. feet. Can you believe this? That's awesome. It's a GoPro saving miracle. I'm just glad you didn't <laughs> drop your phone in. I am too. Awesome. My, my mistake was not bringing the floaty for the GoPro. So bring a floaty. Yep, always Thank bring you your so protections. Much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. washed up on the shore for me since I broke my sunglasses when I was trying to catch the dang GoPro from falling in the water. Yeah, he's literally just washed up at my feet. It's a, it's a sign. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. fixing to go on a bike ride at the Gulf State Park and I said let's go get some smoothies first we need a little energy and look what just popped up right in front of Gulf State Park planet smoothie so how convenient you can get a smoothie right before you go on your little bike ride perfect so it only costs two dollars to park here at Gulf State Park which is cool until dark I believe and the guy 10 o'clock so it was three dollars to park at the public beach access for two hours yeah, so here at the campground, you can park for two bucks all day till 10 o'clock. And the guy up front gave us this trail map. 
and I believe we can just bike on over to the beach. There's a boardwalk that kind of takes us over and we don't have to bike on the main road, so that's cool. So we're at the pool. We're gonna go out here to the stop sign, hang a left. And we'll ride down to the next little stop sign or whatever, hanging on the left, and we're gonna ride down here to campsite 477. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna pick up the little boardwalk and then, then we'll ride over to the beach and keep us off the main road. Looks like we're right here. Yeah, and on the bottom left little box here, it says campground trail. 2.2 miles. Alright, so y'all got to stop in this uh, fresh seafood market called Lartigues. We've got shrimp, crab, fish, oysters. We'll take you in there for a second and just show you a little bit about what they got. Let's see what we can find in here. Take home back to the camper for lunch. I'm getting a pound of this, these large ribs. Two pounds? They'll steam them here for you. Let's get them done with um, Old Bay. Yes, ma'am, we do have Old Bay. Okay, perfect. And then maybe let's get some raw lot. All these sauces and dips are homemade. This looks amazing. These crabs over here were caught this morning. We can get some of those. And then I think we really should get some key lime pie. And maybe some of these. They've got Andouille sausage, and then these um, shrimp scampi casseroles. I'm gonna get one of those. And jambalayas, and here's all their sausage. And beer, yep, they know, they know what's up. What are you gonna do with them? I don't know, they, we just leave them chill there. A bunch of the kids like looking out. Oh, so, yeah, they're just going to look at So they said get the kick-ass, kick-ass oh, coleslaw, yeah, Sorry. and crab dip. The feast, what? all the dips, the crab dip, the kick-ass coleslaw. We got cocktail sauce and ramelade, so we could have two dips. Bud Light lime, of course. Key limes and this chocolate chip pie, whatever that is. Let's see how they did with the Old Bay. Woo! Yeah, looking good. Better the force don't bubble gum shrimp. to move the camper going from site 20 to site 58 and here we go Just sprinkle. 
sprinkled on us for a moment, but we're all set up. We just swept the patio. 58 still got a gorgeous view. My goodness. Backs up here to this little back alley that I told you about before. It's all lit up at night. Nice seating area. Isn't this pretty? Hey, we're gonna go try Fisher's for dinner. Is that over by the marina? It is. Okay. So this is Orange Beach Marina, five minutes from where we were at Heritage. And this is Fisher's. I guess you can eat upstairs in a more fine dining experience or you can eat downstairs, what was it called, dockside? Dockside. Maybe a little more casual, we're about to find out. But my goodness, it's pretty out today. And we did find out that they're closed on Tuesdays. Anyway, looks pretty fun. Okay, so five really great places to eat around here. We'll do. We'll start with number one. It was recommended by a friend to stop at Bucky's. <laughs> we see that. Ever... We see people talking about it on the internet all the time too. So yeah, and it doesn't sound like Bucky's. I mean, it's a gas station. It's a uh, a very busy gas station. I gotta tell you, that place was insane. It was almost like the sun came out and everybody said, "Let's go to Bucky's." It seemed like it was like the state fair of gas stations. What is that, 125 gas pumps or something? Like that? I don't know. They said, go get the brisket sandwiches. So we did. It was good. And now we're recommending them too. So on your way down, grab some hot brisket sandwiches and they have these like hot potato chips. You can bring them down and have something good to eat while you're setting pudding. up. Banana pudding was pretty good too. I pretty much ate all that, so. so. Well, that was like gas station banana pudding, but. Well, it wasn't bad. The brisket sandwich, pretty good. not too shabby. So also, I have a friend, we have a friend of ours, number two. Also, we have a friend of ours from, from this area, and he recommended Tacky Jacks. All right, so we're going to Tacky Jacks. This was a recommendation from a buddy of mine, Jerry, in the, uh, from the uh, Slider Trade, more Rat Trade video. That's right. So if it sucks, Jerry, you owe me dinner. Tacky Jacks better be good. We were told at this place you can get some duct tape or something and write something cool, stick it to the restaurant. Maybe that's why it's called Tacky, right? Sticky and it's not very attractive. <laughs> Gotta love the English language. Two meanings for every word. <laughs> Tacky, sticky and ugly. So he um, he recommended Tacky Jacks and we went check it out. So it's, it's um, kind of a neat atmosphere. You can actually take duct tape and you can stick it wherever you want to stick it, uh, well within reason. And then uh, you can write something on it. 
and then leave your leave your mark, if you will. So that was kind of neat. Yeah. So what did you have at Tacky Jacks? I forget. Uh, tacos. Fish shrimp tacos. Yeah. So. And then I had the um, tacky shrimp over rice, which I thought was really good. It tasted like a like a Cajun, um, like a jambalaya or a mm -hmm. shrimp creole kind of dish. It was pretty good. Oh, number three. Um, oh, so early. Oh, so early. They should call it oh, so all day because if you eat their breakfast there, you're full for the rest of the day. The corned beef hash bowl was so good. And then what did you have? I don't remember. The girls had an omelet. No, you had. Well, I had the, I had the, the oh, so omelet. But ooh, and order a thing of beignets. Very good. Those were so good. Number four, Paula, Paula Deans. Deans. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Paula Dean. Down there at Owa, we always recommend Paula Deans. We love it because mm. she does this family style buffet thing. Well, it's not a buffet. They actually bring it to your table, and it's a family style. They'll keep dinner. feeding it until you bust. Yeah, so you can keep ordering, but you can't take any home. But mm. we recommend the fried chicken. The dumplings are good. They're the salty. The dumplings are good. Well, we've had everything there. The ribs were good. We've had the beef over the rice that's really good too but it's really salty i don't even like catfish like that and their catfish is good uh number five fishers dockside yes fishers down by the marina orange beach marina so we already have a video piece on that yeah i had the um grouper sandwich really good mm -hmm. i had the shrimp the fried shrimp basket um also very good number and Six. Number six is what you've probably already seen in the video. Was, it's not a restaurant, by the way. So It's we, not a restaurant. So that's why we get the five or six. But it's down there um, by the beach called Lartigue's Fresh Seafood. Go down there and get you some fresh steamed shrimp. They'll steam it right there with whatever seasoning you want. Like that kick-ass cold salt. Yeah. It was. And it was kick-ass. Right. It was good. Yeah. Here kick comes the blower guy again. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap this up with our review of everything, our week in Orange Beach. If you want more people and more putt-putt golf and go-kart ride places, Panhandle. If you want just mm -hmm. a place that has that some of that stuff but it's a little bit more laid back, then Alabama. It yeah. is laid back down here at Orange mm -hmm. Beach and yeah. less chain restaurants mm -hmm. and more mom and pop shops mm -hmm. and just a quieter feel. Now toward the beach, of course, it's a little more crowded, but back here by Heritage, and by the marina, it's so quiet and quaint. We really like it. Really See? great place to bring your family. So for our viewers who are into camping and motorhoming and glamping, you know that some of the luxury resorts don't necessarily offer luxury amenities, but this one yes. definitely delivers. So Heritage, we really enjoyed it here. The sites are beautiful. They obviously maintain the place. <laughs> they were mm -hmm. blowing leaves and the debris as we were speaking. And also, um, the location, I think, is my number one favorite thing about this. Yeah, is I mean, because it's back here in the quieter part of Orange Beach. And the view here. Oh, my gosh. You can't beat that view from that pool. That's great. I don't know about the other resorts around here, the RV resorts and their views. Um, but this one was pretty amazing. Apparently, there are several nice RV, RV places here. So, I guess guys will have to come back and stay there and tell you what we think about them. Yeah, we will. Uh, what would you think of the weather? <laughs> <laughs> well, driving down was during the tropical storm Claudette. It was well, interesting. You know, the wind was blowing on the camper so hard that I had literally about half of a turn in the steering wheel into the wind to keep to keep it in the lane. So that was um, not fun. We got it. The weather was what everybody had said. Don't trust the forecast. It changes every 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean, the weather and didn't keep us from doing anything that we wanted to do. Right. The humidity day. in Alabama is what it is. But we had a great time, and we hope this video was helpful. And if so, please give us a like. If we're helpful, like and subscribe. And thanks so much for tuning in. And we will see you on our next adventure. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya.